Hello there. Self-talk, or more precisely, negative self-talk, is one of the most defeating things for anyone in sales. So if you're watching this and you have ever the challenge of making that phone contact and calling back that person, or even doing the first call to a referral you got, this video is for you. Hi, this is John Ruman. I'm an international business coach and consultant. I'm also working with the real 007 Roger Moore in Sales Training Academy to help salespeople and companies and organizations around Trinidad to maximize their impact and potential and to therefore make the most money and serve the most people that they can. So thank you for watching tonight. Tonight is all about being in here, your mind, your head, and how that impacts the actions you take on the outside. So everyone has self-talk. It may not be positive. Hey, good night, Jamie. How you doing? It may not be positive self-talk, but having self-talk, positive or negative, will impact how you feel, therefore, and how you act. The challenge with self-talk is in the sales profession, we get more no's than we get yeses. And there's something I want to take a step back called hedonic adaptation, H-E-D-O-N-I-C. If you want to look it up, hedonic adaptation is the natural human propensity towards the negative. So have you ever noticed, or, or the neutral, maybe another way of saying it. So have you ever like wanted something super, super, super bad? You're like, I want this, and then you get it, and you're like, yeah, I got it. And then when you got it, you, after a week, a day, three days, however, a certain amount of time, it's just the thing and it's not exciting, and all the energy and, and, and all the, ex, the enthusiasm you had for it disappears. Why is that? Hedonic adaptation, which is designed so you, when you get excited about something, you don't stay too much in the blissed out state. And traditionally, this was a good thing because the because going back to the normal would mean when you're blissed out, you're like, yeah, life is good. You're totally not present. And if over that hill is a tiger and that tiger is going to get me and I could see him creeping towards me or, or moving a little bit in the bushes, I would think and act differently if I had a little bit more awareness. And the thing is, in, in, in most of the world today, there's really little need for this being that much uh, fully aware of their surroundings. And I'm not saying you shouldn't be. If you're in a da remotely dangerous area, it's an unknown area. If you're a tourist, all those kinds of things, try not to be too aloof. Like, ooh, this is amazing. Because the challenge is people will take advantage of the aloofness. That being said, if you practice something called gratitude or, or appreciation. I'm sure you've heard of the concept. Who hasn't? Every religious and spiritual practice in the world says, practice gratitude, it will change your life. And it will, but it actually requires effort. So there's a skill that most of us, 95% of the world that I know, if not more, have developed a propensity towards the negative as a skill set. And because of this, they perpetuate negativity in the mind. So if you practice a skill set of creating a positive outcome and taking a moment just to say how blessed you are about this or how blessed you are about that. And, and if it's challenging for you, the secret, because I've gone through ebbs and flows of doing this in my life, the secret is to feel appreciative of broad-based things versus so let's say finances are not where you'd like them to be. If you can feel blessed by the fact that you have basic food, a home, clothing, things that money buys, it will give you a great level of appreciation, even <sighs> fresh air to breathe, which doesn't sound like a big deal unless you've ever been trapped in a small space or had to hold your breath for much longer than you used to. The simple thing is breathing, really, people take for granted. So, so those are the things that I would encourage you to do. And then you can become more specific as the feeling tone of appreciation overflows you. Now, let's bring this back to sales. The challenge with sales is 
you are in the moment. Let's say you call someone. Hey, good afternoon. Da, da, da. Can't talk now. And, and people are cut, curt, short, and not as nice and warm as pleasant to you as calling your mother or your best friend or your boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever partner you have in your life or just people who you just, uh, just love you to bits and pieces. That's a different topic or a different style of engagement. So what happens is every salesperson, not one, not some, all have a challenge that they at some point feel it's hard to make this next call. So unless there's a positive momentum, they really begin to stop or even slow down, stutter, whatever. It's a really, really hard for them. And anyone who's watching this who's had any form of sales experience knows it can be challenging. So how do you get over it? There's a secret. One, whatever they say, it's not directed at you. It's directed at the former people. Two, it's important that your self-talk, and that's kind of the topic of today, self-talk, is to the level of excellence that you feel, hey Tressie, that you are now feeling uh, that you are talking to yourself in a positive manner. I'll give you an example. So when the person talks to you and they kind of cut you short, that's unfortunate. And then when you hang up, instead of saying, well, we usually say something negative. So say, okay, well, that's okay. The next person is going to really be excited. And, and I'm really, really good at my job. and People genuinely like me. And it's really important, this may sound crazy, that you tell yourself words of positive appreciation, affirmation, etc. Here's why. Your boss or coworkers, whoever in your life can tell you anything, it will not have the impact that you talking to yourself will. So in the sales profession or in life, because life is basically sales, because all sales is is trying to influence a decision of someone else or direction someone's going, that's sales. Any discussion you have in any part of your life is sales. So don't miss, don't think sales is purely this or that. And it can be, and this is intended for those people, but it really impacts our whole life. So this will impact your life as a whole. So it's important that you understand when things happen at that moment that you're normally beating yourself up, stop that. Don't beat yourself up, you deserve better. I want you to say, I'm amazing, I got this, I can do this. And you notice I'm tapping myself because physicality brings more vitality to the to the emotion so i feel great i am amazing i love this i am great i feel great just acting crazy on my live right now so feel great yes yes that was a great call the next person's gonna love me right sounds crazy looks crazy but i feel awesome right now so try it and this is why when we teach in our sales training, every person we say, stand up. Do not be seated, slouched, hiding in your chair, poor body position. Move your body. Talk. Be on hands free. And also, you can type better. Maybe get a standing desk, but don't be seated. Do yourself a favor. Move. Be vital. You'll appreciate it. You'll feel good. So... That's today. Today is all about how you talk to yourself. Hey, Dominic. Dominic, you missed good stuff. So please, when I'm done and it uploads and you see John went live and all that, check it out. You're really going to appreciate it. So any questions on anyone who's watching about talking to yourself? Does anyone have any questions or feedback about how they talk to themselves? Maybe situations that they may want me to give them feedback on? I have a few people on, so... You guys have any thoughts on there? I'll give you about 10 seconds. You're typing away. Dominic said, hello. Hello, my brother. Give me 10 seconds. Tressy, Dominic, Jamie, what are you guys talking about? What are you thinking? How do you get rid of it? You replace it. So anytime something happens, Dominic, so for example, someone cuts you in traffic. You could say, oh, that bastard, rot in the hell, I hope you die. Or something worse. <laughs> We've all been there. We know the feeling. So in that moment, say, 
I'm an excellent driver, and I'm sure they're really in a rush today. May you have a blessed day. I love and appreciate you. Something more positive. Sounds crazy, but you'll feel better almost immediately. Because it really doesn't matter what other people do. What matters in truth is your reaction to these people and how you feel about them. So let's do another negative self-talk. Um, I'm a bad business person. That's an easy one to correct because all you have to do is get rid of a couple words and reframe them. I'm an amazing business owner. I was born for this. I love what I do. These challenges make me stronger. And you repeat it and you feel it. But it's important that you do and feel it when you begin to do the negative. It has a stronger impact. And so this is kind of affirmations, but it has a little more oomph because you're using it in a moment. So, so in the moment that you're, let's pretend this is the bad side. This is the good side. So the bad things are like drilling on your head, like you're a bad business owner. And this is the good side. I'm amazing. It'll overwrite it. Think of it as, we don't have records nowadays, but records we, what you would write on and you could over, you can scratch them and scratch them enough times to overwrite them. That's what you need to do. So it's most effective in the moment. I'm an amazing business person. I was born to do this. The people love me. Those, my wife is on. Life is good when your wife is watching. Hi, Shari. So it's important, Dominic, that you tell yourself, I am amazing. I am awesome. And, and, and how you talk to yourself will have a far greater impact than those other people talking to you. So take the time to be aware of how you talk so you can correct it with the real version of you, the divine that is dying to express itself and it wants to flourish and show the world your magic. That's what your opportunity is. And, and it takes practice. It takes diligence. It is not easy. But, and Dominic, I want you to rewatch because we talked about something called hedonic adaptation in the beginning of this video. You will see how we have a natural propensity to the negative. So once you understand that, you can begin to practice appreciation. I talked about that earlier. And then we can talk about overriding these negative habits. So self-talk is powerful. And when you be, get better at it, you will dramatically change how you feel. When you change the way you feel, the way you look at the world is different. And it's now a world of opportunity versus, and, and victimhood versus, exactly, hedonic adaptation. Thank you, Shari. Versus being a victor. I got this. I am going to do this. I'm going to rule this next challenge. I was made to do this. This will make me stronger, and I know I can do it. So it's really important that you do this self-talk when it happens. Feel awesome. Don't sit down. Stand up and notice how you feel so powerful very quickly. Any other questions, Dominic, or anyone else on? Because that was great. Thank you for the opportunity to go off like that. You got 10 seconds. Any others, Dominic? Did that help? Or are there any specific areas? Five seconds. Okay. So the reason I brought up self-talk, and if you comment, I will, I will continue with you. Um, the reason I brought up is we're having a, a course on cold calling in approximately three weeks. And the course on cold calling is on the 15th of July. It is in St. Augustine. And we actually do a few things when it comes to cold calling because it's a it's our most popular module in the six part module that we teach. And the reason it's so popular is you get good on the phone, you create more meetings, you will naturally call, uh, have more business. It is a one of the highest correlation to making a lot more money of anything else you can do in sales. All the neat online stuff is great, but you need to talk to people. You need to see people. And, and creating phone calls is creating a connection with people and you can do a lot how much is the cold calling? Great question, Dominic. And I was going to get to that. Your timing is perfect. The investment, the cost of the course is 600 TT. Assuming 
you love the course because most people who take it will. Oh, and the payment plan is you can pay 300 prepay to claim your spot and 300 day of, or you can just pay 300 one time, sorry, 600 one time. It's entirely up to you. So six or three and three, three pre, three day of. And then it's important that um, to know if you love the course and you're like, I love this, I'm totally doing the whole thing, we will credit 400 of the 600 towards the entire six week class which is in September on the 13th of September and uh, same location and that's 3,000 but we'll take 400 off because you obviously invested in that so any other questions Dominic thank you for asking I appreciate that um, so let me tell you what we'll cover briefly in the class it's three hours it'll be 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. it will go over we'll create an actual script we'll have an outline of a script in general and then you can create your own script after, uh, during the class, and we'll help you critique it so it has the most oomph. And again, the intention of the script for 98% of people in class, especially those that come to class, is not to sell on the phone. It is intended to create enough interest that you can set a meeting. That is the idea. And not waste the other person's time. Um, let me see if I have other things. Oh, and we will teach you tonality. So tonality is whispering when you need to whisper and then being loud when you need to be loud and pausing when you need to pause. Um, awesome. Cool. Sounds good, Dominic. I appreciate that. Um, any last questions, anyone? I'll give you five seconds. You guys have been awesome. Thank you so much for participating. Makes it a lot of fun. I hope you have an amazing rest of your weekend. Please, Dominic, start when this is posted, start over. You're absolutely going to love the first five minutes or so because it really goes over what I talked about in depth. Um, yeah, so have a great night. Any questions or anything, shoot me a direct message on Instagram or send me a message on Facebook. I'll answer anything you need, and I'll be happy to help you. Have a great night. Take care.